Hey everyone! So I just wanted to make some prophetic bookmarks that are going to be like cards so they could be opened up and write a message inside. But actually this part's going to be symbolic too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some... Also like I prayed and I asked God to give me inspiration based off of some art projects that I'd already done to teach to my students. So this is a project that I've taught in one of my videos. I've done this before. But um never prophetically so the white shaving cream is also this has to do with the business because i thought that would be hopefully encouraging to you guys so the white um cream symbolizes the blank canvas of a pure heart and pure motives that we have for our businesses and then the red watercolor paint i'm just going to sprinkle some of this around so i feel like god's saying like our businesses could be a balance so the red could be the passion, the excitement, and the heart that we bring to our businesses. And then the blue is the structure and the organization that makes our businesses accessible to those, like whatever it is, like our products. It's all the grunt work that goes into it. And then together they mix to make purple because blue and red make purple. And as you can see, it didn't really mix much in my last one, so I tried to put a lot more paint. But I just don't think it really mixes that well, actually, with the shaving cream. But that's okay, because we're actually all in the beginning stages of our business for the most part. And so <laughs> they're not fully mixed yet, maybe. I don't know. I'm just making that up. That part's not necessarily from God. It could be. If it's encouraging, it is. Um, okay, so then, what, in case you're wondering the process... Of how I did this, I just am taking some cardstock and I, I want to figure out where I want to put it. So I'm going to go right here and just press it down gently and then I'm just going to pull this up. And it did kind of make it purple. And then what I need to do is take this other cardstock and I'm just going to scrape this away and it's going to make a huge mess, which is why it's really good that my desk isn't anything too important. But I'm just going to scrape this away. And I could put something down if I really cared about my desk. But it actually cleans up pretty well. And then you see the marbling pattern. So it's super fun to do. And if I wanted to mix it more, I could to get a real purple. But then it would lose some of the, um, the patterns and stuff. So what I'm actually going to do is cheat a little bit and put some purple on here. And you can keep adding layers, but the more layers you add, the sloppier it gets, the less nice the, um, the swirls are. But I love the purple because the purple symbolizes royal identity, right? And that our businesses, God is going to use for the kingdom. And see how sloppy this looks? If you guys ever wanted to try this or something, you could just put the purple in right away and it wouldn't be so sloppy. I thought about doing that, but I didn't really want to because I thought the symbolism of putting the colors in and pretending they were going to mix would be more prophetic. <laughs> I'm just being a little bit silly right now, but see now it's purple. And you'll see that you can keep adding colors as much as you want. And eventually, if you add too much color, eventually it's going to be just looking like a mess. But it's pretty fun to do. And let me just scrape off the rest so you can see it. Actually, it's not too bad now that I'm scraping everything away. So just to recap, we've got the red, that's our heart, our passion, our ideas for the business. And the blue, that's the organization and all our hard work. And then the purple is the result, how it's going to impact a lot of people and help them grow closer to God or just other kingdom things. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you ever want to try this, um, I'm not trying to really give an art lesson right now, but if some of you do, because I know maybe some people will ask, this is just regular cardstock. If you had a piece of cardboard, it'd be better to use than the cardstock for scraping. And then if you're worried about a mess, you don't have to use a styrofoam plate. You could actually use like a big pan. And then I just stirred it up with a paintbrush stick. Um, and the white stuff is shaving foam so shaving foam supposedly works better than shaving cream i've never actually tried shaving cream 
Um, so yeah. And then what's the white stuff? Cool. Oh, Cool Whip. <laughs> that would be funny if it was Cool Whip. Then you could eat it if you use food coloring. I don't know if that would work. Cool, cool Whip and food coloring. If anybody tries that, please let me know. But yeah, this is just shaving cream and paint. But you can always use food coloring instead of watercolor paint. So if you don't have watercolor paint, you can try that. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Um, Steven, Christina, I can't see who else responded. Um, but yeah, thanks. And hopefully you guys will, uh, try, if you want to try it or at least get something out of it. I don't know. <laughs> All right. I love you guys.